Welcome to our channel, Let Us Pray Every Day. I'm Minister Monica Taylor, your intercessor. And today, we're going to be praying to Jehovah Jireh, the Lord God who provides. Jehovah Jireh is the Lord God who provides. You know, the thing about God's promises is that they're twofold. We have a part to play, and God has his part. Now, we want God oftentimes to do his part. God, you do this, I want this, I need that, and the other. But then, when it comes down to us doing our part to even qualify for those promises, then we're slacking. Is that you? Are you slacking concerning the promises of God regarding our finances, our provisions? We're at this time in our world where there's inflation going on and low supply of uh, supply, different supplies are limited. If you go to stores, you see that the shelves are bare. But do you qualify for provisions from God? We want God to provide for us finances to get the things we need. We want him to provide the material things that we need. What about Malachi chapter 3? about the tithe. Are you a tither? Are you a giver? Or, I'm just going to be honest with you. I'm going to be real. Are you a God robber? So let's say, for example, that you had a quote unquote friend and you brought them into your home or your apartment, wherever you are. And they say that they're your friend. And you brought them over and just to have lunch with them or just perhaps to talk. And all you had in your wallet was $10. And you knew that that's what you had was $10. And nobody else had been over there. But when your friend left, you noticed that your wallet had been moved from where it was. And when you opened it, the $10 were gone. So you knew that your quote unquote friend had stolen your money. They robbed you. Robbed you. How would you feel about that, friend? How would you, would you still consider them a friend if they stole from you? More than likely, you wouldn't want anything to do with them. They stole from you. Well, how do you think God feels? Because the truth be told, the blessings come from God. And he says in his word in Malachi chapter 3, for us to bring the tithe and the offerings to him so that he would open the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing so that we won't have room enough to receive it. That he will rebuke the devourer for our sake. He will not cause our bond to cast his fruit before the, uh, the time in the field. And we want God to bless him. We bless us. We want him to rebuke the devourer. We want him to uh, cause our vine to not cast our fruit before the time in the field. We want our provisions to last. And we want to walk under that open heaven. And we want to confess that we are blessed and a blessing. But are we really qualifying for that scripture to operate in our lives? Or are we like that quote unquote friend and we are robbing God? I want to share something with you. Just because the church does not know how much you how much you make and how much you're turning in is really 10%, and if that's really the tithe, God knows all things. And there is nothing hidden that should not be disclosed. God knows it all. He knows the hidden things in our heart. He knows if we're being honest. So I just said, come clean with God. But don't do it in fear because God, he, he's promised to take care of us. He said, put me in remembrance of his word. As in it concerning the tithe, he said, prove me. Try it. Try God concerning your finances. That that next paycheck What's 10% of that? Because 10% belongs to God. 
And he said, you can live off the 90%. And beside that, if we, we, when we sow seeds, he said, I will multiply your seed that you sowed. So he's the God of multiplication. He said, I will open also the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing. If we would just believe his word and do so. Today's prayer is for us to just stop and think. Do I qualify for God's blessings? Am I robbing God? Am I really doing his word? Because see, we can confess his word and wonder why ain't this working? I've been confessing all these years by God, I'm blessed. You bless me, but I am not really seeing it on the other end. We're going to pray. I'm going to pray for you to be a doer of the word. But then there may be some who say, well, I'm doing the word, Minister Monica. I've been doing the word for years, and I'm not really seeing it come to pass. Then in this instance, maybe we're dealing with some demonic oppression that's affecting us in our finances. We're going to deal with that today. I hope you stay in tune. I'm going to share these scriptures with you today. And we're going to pray for those who are not tithers to become tithers. Those who are tithers and givers. And you're not experiencing what you believe that you should be experiencing. We're going to pray against the demonic forces that might be holding back your finances. Yes. Glory to God. I'm excited today because I believe that we are going to another level concerning our finances. You know, I'm reminded of the scripture that says, it is the Lord our God who gives us the power to get the wealth. But it doesn't stop there in Deuteronomy. It says, so that he, God, can establish his kingdom in the earth. Remember the Lord thy God, for it is he who gives us the power to get the wealth. Why? So that we can consume it on our own flesh and our own worldly desires? No. It's so that God can establish his kingdom in the earth. So we should be concerned about financing uh, our, uh, the, the church, financing Christian uh, ministries who are getting the word out, uh, supporting those who are sending Bibles into foreign lands. We should be concerned about financing the kingdom of God. We're not here to spend eternity on this side of heaven, but to spend eternity in a place call heaven with God forever. And don't we want everyone to go to this wonderful place? Don't we want everyone to hear about the gospel of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, so that they can come and be saved? God's kingdom. We want his kingdom to expand today. So not only are we going to pray for finances, but we're also going to pray that we fund those ministries so that his kingdom will cause others so his kingdom would be expanded and cause others to come to know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. I'm excited. I'm excited. I want you to call out your family members, those who may have walked away from Jesus or those who may have never known him. We're going to pray today for that. Are you excited? Well, Deuteronomy chapter 28 and 8 says, The Lord will command the blessing upon you in your barns, and in all that you put your hand to, and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you. God will bless you. Third John 1 and 2 says, Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in health just as your soul prospers. God wants us to prosper, remember, so that he can establish his kingdom upon the earth. Joshua 1 8 says, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night, so that you may be careful to do, to do, to do, according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, 
and then you will have success. Glory to God. Psalms 35 and 27 says, Let them shout for joy and rejoice who favor my righteous cause. And let them say continually, The Lord be magnified who delights in the prosperity of his servant. So we see through these scriptures that God wants to prosper us. He's not a God that's holding things back from us, but he wants to bless us. He wants us to experience the best that this world has to offer. He says in Malachi, bring the tithe and the offering and I will pour out a blessing upon you that you don't have room enough to receive it. Glory to God. Father, we pray and right now for those who may have never tithed before, or never sought you to be a, a one who would give seed or to the sower, that they today would put uh, take your word and your promises and believe it in their heart and that they would do their part, that they would be a tither to take 10% of what it is that you have blessed them with and give it back unto you. Realizing that you've left them with 90%, but you are our Lord, the Lord of our finances. And you tell us what to do with it, what to buy, what not to buy, what to give, what to sow and to whom we are to sow it in. So I pray, Father God, that your people hear your voice and they obey you. I bind the spirit of fear over their lives, that they would not be afraid to obey you. For you are faithful who promised. So, Father God, I thank you that your people are set free right now, that they are not afraid to do your will. And now for those, Father God, who said, Minister Monica, I have been a tither for years. And I have given to the kingdom of God. I pray, Lord, right now that they will not be weary in well-doing. For we know that you are faithful who promise. But right now, Lord God, we are having a revelation that there is an enemy who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And you said in your word, Lord God, that whatever we bind on earth must already be bound in heaven. And whatever we loose on earth must already be loosed in heaven. We know that there is no lack in heaven. So we must take our authority and bind lack here in the earth. We know that there is no scarcity in heaven. Uh, for you are the God of abundance. So you said for us to bind scarcity here on the earth. And Lord God, you said that whatever we loose on earth must already be loosed in heaven. You are the God of abundance. So we're going to loose abundance in our lives. We're going to lose provisions in our lives. You are the God of multiplication. So we thank you right now for multiplying every good seed sown. Hallelujah. So right now, I take authority over the spirit of darkness concerning our finances. I bind the spirit of slavery where we are every day working but not having the provisions that we are needing. I bind the spirit of slavery over the lives of the people right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I break your power over their minds. I break your power over their finances. I break your power over their provisions. I break your power, Satan, and your demonic forces shall not prosper against their finances right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of scarcity over their lives. I bind the spirit of lack over their lives. For God is the God of abundance. And I call forth abundance in their finances, abundance in provisions, abundance in job opportunities for them, that they are doors are open for them that were once shut. Provisions come forth in the name of Jesus. And I pray, Lord God, that your spirit of wisdom will guide them in all of their decision making concerning their finances. In the name of Jesus, that they know what to save, what to sow, what to give, when to give, to whom they are to give it to, what ministries they are to support. Father God, we thank you that your kingdom is expanding today. 
that the lost will come to know you as their Lord and Savior because of the finances that we are funding your ministries, Lord God, that your gospel is going forth today unhindered. In the name of Jesus, because of the abundance of financial resources that we are experiencing right now, Lord God, I thank you for increase right now, financial increase. I thank you, Lord God, for back pay, refunds, rewards, returns, restitution, sevenfold of everything that you, Satan, have stolen from their lives. It must be returned sevenfold. For the word of the Lord says that if the enemy is caught stealing, he must return sevenfold. So I command you by the spirit of the living God to return sevenfold of what you've stolen from God's people right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, that folks are calling. I command you, those of you who have been stolen from, don't look at the phone and say, I don't recognize this phone number because I believe that people will be calling you who owe you money. You might not recognize the phone, but pick up the phone and answer the phone because on the other end, I believe that those are people who are calling you to tell you to meet them at uh, uh, what's your uh, uh, address? Or they're sending back pay to your account. They're sending to you refunds that they have overcharged you. Answer the phone. Because they are returning what has been stolen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Don't look at that caller ID and say, I don't recognize the number. Answer the phone. I believe that they're going to be calling. I believe that your bank accounts will be increasing. Because the spirit of lack has been broken off of your life. And I command the spirit of delay to be bound over your life. We're calling for right now a return quick in the name of Jesus. No more delay. No more delay. I bind the spirit of delay in the name of Jesus. We call it for it to happen quick in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you today that our minds have been illuminated. We will not tolerate the spirit of delay any longer. We thank you, Lord God, that we are sowing even in a time of famine and you are able to multiply the seed sown. In the name of Jesus, we will not be afraid to obey you anymore. In Jesus' name, we will not be bound by the spirit of lack, scarcity. It must bow. To the name of Jesus. Glory to God. So right now we want to pray for our family members. Father God, we thank you that as your kingdom is, uh, is expanding, Father God, that our family members will come to know you as their personal Lord and Savior. We call them out before you right now. Tiana, Trisha, Patricia, Lord God, we call them out, Lord God, that they will seek you, Lord, like never before. Draw them to you by your spirit, Father God. We pray, Lord God, that they have a closer relationship with you, that they're hunger and thirsting after you and your righteousness. You said to your Lord God that you will fill them to the level of their hunger and thirst. Father God, we thank you that your kingdom is expanding today in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We thank you, Father. Today is the day of salvation, and we give you praise for our loved ones coming to know you in a closer, more intimate way. Hallelujah. God loves you. He has a plan for your life, and he is able to sustain it. You're blessed financially. The spirit of God rests upon you. I pray that you hear his voice. Jehovah Jireh has already provided for you. Father, I pray that you're opening their eyes to see the provisions and that they would do only what they hear you say to do for you are the Lord of their finances. Be blessed today. Expect miracles, signs, and wonders to follow this prayer and the word that's being preached by God. I love you. Have a great day. And remember, have faith in God. For with God, all things are possible to him that believes. Bye now.